Hello again everyone, Larry Satchwell here. July 16th, try to update the garden every couple of weeks. When I came out this morning, there was a hummingbird on this gladiola here. He of course left as soon as I approached. This is going to be a quick update. I've been gone for another long weekend at the Grandfather Mountain Highland Games. So let's go see what's down there. We'll start over here at the uh, what was the potato bin, now the compost pile. I've added to this actually about a wheelbarrow for um, every three or four days and it's actually gone down about a foot and a half. Looks like there's room for some more. This was a cucumber plant I had left over and it has been really puny all summer until I got back. Look at all the blooms on there. It's a good thing too because the other cucumbers are looking a little worn out. Canna lilies, you can see the, the worm damage but Right now, I don't uh, just see a few of them curled up. There are worms in there. Um, but when it's like that, I'll pull those leaves off and uh, feed those worms to my koi. I still haven't done anything with the strawberry patch, and uh, I'm going to probably wait till September, October. And what I'll do there is uh, I'll dig those up and replant the better looking strawberry plants, and uh, at the same time, be able to weed this bed out. There's a lot of nice strawberry plants in here, and I just let them go over here. They're, we're still getting some blooms and uh, occasionally some strawberries, maybe a handful as you walk through the garden. The squash plants are looking pretty good. I know there's some squash in there I need to harvest. After I harvested the potatoes, I had some real small ones left over. In fact, here's one right here that didn't get planted. So I planted these a tradi the traditional way. I dug a trench. Kind of hard to see, but I dug a trench and they're in the bottom of that trench. As these plants come up, I'll pull the sides over the top of them and gradually let them fill I in. I let these bean plants grow on the side here. Uh, it looks like there's going to be enough that uh, we can have one serving of fresh beans. These radish plants I've let go to seed. Seed pods here taste just like a radish. So if you're making a salad and it's too late in the year for radishes, just slice those up and you'll get a nice little radish taste. The celebrity tomatoes are coming on nicely. In fact, I need to add those to my harvest basket right there. Those are beautiful. These carrots we're using for horse treats and in salads. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that um, where every time I come down here, the goats and horse come over to the fence, they expect something and I'll give them a carrot. These are the last planting of uh, yellow connect squash and zucchini and there were you see a lot of blooms down in there you couldn't see the zucchini so I went ahead and picked them so this is what I've picked so far today we'll probably freeze that big zucchini and make some zucchini bread we're having hamburgers tonight but we'll probably have BLTs tomorrow this is the second planting of corn I left these strings in here to keep the cats out of it I've got a pretty good stand down at that end. There's two different varieties in here. This is a white variety. It didn't look like it came up very well. I've got enough seeds though that I can fill it in. So I'm going to leave these strings in here until I fill in the missing plants. And then I'll pull these strings up and get in there with my hoe. This is a bed is pretty wide, but I can still get in there. It's eight feet wide. I can still get into the middle with my hoe and get those weeds that are coming this, up. This uh, Christmas grape tomato is the red one. It's about gone, but the yellow variety of these tomatoes still looking good. Got this beautiful morning glory coming up here. I'll pull that today. Before I left for Grandfather Mountain, I harvested all the tomatoes. These were the black plum off of these two beds and can those and I've already made a video on making this spaghetti sauce so I or pizza sauce whatever you want to use it for so I did not videotape that this is a Roma plant called Russian and most of these are ready to harvest this Russian dwarf here is a miniature I knew they were determinate but I thought they would grow bigger next year I won't uh, use these tall cages this one I had as har I harvested with that other group it was done. That's just an old feed sack I've got down there to keep the weeds out. The serpentine cucumbers. I gotta admit, this one has scared me more than once when I've walked through the garden here. 
it looks like um, they've gotten some wilt rot on here and about finished. So uh, I'll probably put these in the compost pile, some of them, and feed some of them to the chickens. Chickens love them. And cover up this bed for a while, let it rest. The egg yolk tomatoes are just like they say, and they are sweet. This is another morning glory vine. You gotta find the bottom of them, and sometimes that's really hard. This was a cucumber plant bed. I had three plants in here, they were small. And it looks like a watermelon has volunteered itself. So I'm letting it grow. This is uh, on top of some plastic that I recycled. And we'll see what comes from that. The sunflower over here I planted in um, little small containers, six packs, and then brought them down here after they were about three or four inches tall. Oh, I finally have a water lily. There's a water lily bloom. First one ever. My brother gave me this plant about four years ago. And it's been in that other water container that has the lotus in it. Never got enough sun. So Rick, there's the first water lily bloom I've got. This lotus plant has not produced any flowers yet this year. The four o'clocks continue. I'm fighting those like a weed. They open up at uh, in the evening. And you can see they're all closed up right now. So they're really pretty in the evening. But they really will take over. Pretty little visitor right there. I don't know what these flowers are. Cosmos maybe, but... I, I really don't know what these flowers are, but I love the whimsical look of them. The glads over here are blooming. Oh, look at that one. That one's pretty. Some more blooms coming on there. Looks like the lotus is done for the year. I'm going to take these seed pods and when the grandkids are over, we're going to make a bug box. But these seed pods haven't opened up yet. I'll wait till they open. See how this one is closed up? It will eventually open up like this one does. If you look closely, you can see seeds in there. Then what will happen as it dries out, it will bend itself over and drop those seeds back in the water. There's a sweet gum tree. If you live in the south, you know these are weeds and they're very invasive. And I've cut this one back a dozen times when I cut it back this time, I have some brush killer, and I'll use that full strength and paint that on the stub, and that will probably take care of it. This is the Jerusalem artichoke in here with the yellow jasmine. Really getting big. That'll bloom in about a month. Flower bed is doing pretty well. There's some tomatoes in here as well. The Black Eye Susan vine has finally started blooming. Another, this was a leftover tomato plant and a leftover cucumber, a variety called Diva. They've been really good. Another sunflower I planted up there. I thought, I think I thought it was a zinnia. The Black Eyed Susan started blooming this week. They still have some kind of a fungus on them, and I have not put any fungicide on them yet. They get little black spots on them. The marigolds I planted from seed, those are going to bloom all fall and look really pretty. They filled in nicely. Blanket flowers continue to bloom. Sun loving and patience, although they look a little sunburnt right now. Well, there it is. This, again, a longer video than I intended it to be. But it takes a few minutes to walk through this garden. This garden is about 90 feet long and about 40 feet wide. Not counting the flower bed, but that does include the gazebo down there. Flower bed is about 12 feet wide and again, 90 feet long. Thanks for watching. I'll bring you down to the garden in another couple of weeks.